Guys, if you ever uh, wondered how Luba sounds in English, <laughs> we finally find the place where she is ready to speak. So this is coffee phone and it reminds us some part of, uh, I don't know, like London, Great Britain, so Luba can say... So London is the capital of Great Britain. <laughs> Even though we live in Poltava region, we've never filmed in Poltava itself. And right now we're in Poltava, we'll stay here for a couple of hours or maybe half a day and we'll try to check and see how the daily life goes here. Luba, say hi to everyone. My name is Pavlo, this is Luba and let's start. Poltava, a vibrant city located in the central part of Ukraine. As one of the oldest cities, Poltava has gone through historical events that changed the course of European history. The most famous of these is the decisive battle between the Russian and Swedish empires well known as the Battle of Poltava. It is also a home for the Soviet strategic bombers and the birthplace of the popular Ukrainian dumplings Halushki. Briefly, Poltava is a place where every street, building and square is covered with legends and events that changed our history. Right now we're in Korpusny Park, this is the round square which is the heart of Poltava and was built on the 100th anniversary of the victory against the Swedish troops. In the middle is the Monument of Glory with a large golden eagle. And according to the legend, this is where Peter I met the city's defenders. And right next to Corpusny Park, we have the main Poltava street called Sobornosti Street. This is, by the way, the underpass. And you can see how civil it is with lots of souvenir shops, some grocery shops, electronic shop, even Poltava Bank is here. So this is Sobornosti street and from the first view it reminds us the Rybasevska street in Odessa. <laughs> maybe some of you remember my video, so maybe some of you have been to Odessa. You can really see some similar sites. Cafes and restaurants on each side, some stores, uh, two, three, four story buildings. And it's cobbled and pedestrian. By the way, this is Central Mall and it reminds me of Central Mall like in Kyiv. And this street is also famous for its theater, Poltava Theater of Music and Drama. This is really popular among the kids because we can see a lot of kids around and a lot of pigeons. Guys, if you are interested in a uh, pigeon recipe, you can just uh, write to Luba that you want to see that recipe. recipe. Yeah, yeah. And Luba, <laughs> yeah, she will cook that dish. <laughs> Pigeon, <laughs> penguin. Да, <laughs> in some countries people really cook dishes from pigeons. I don't know exactly where. Dominic, it's famous Poltava sweet factory. So you can see chocolate bars, candies. I like a lot of sweets. This street reminds me Odessa. 99% of similarity and the uh, theater in Odessa somewhere on the left seems that those kids have a field trip somewhere and maybe they are going oh, I don't know where they're going because we are going to Rotunda of people friendship is just in the end of Sobornosti street right there But generally the architecture and this cobble street is awesome So London is the capital of Great Britain <laughs> 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 yeah, this is our like default phrase 
from school and this is by the way you see coffee phone is some kind of coffee sh coffee shop coffee store Знаєш, це фраза просто, навіть тих, хто взагалі не знає англійської, кажуть, це фраза, да. And another interesting entertainment, this uh, punching, punching equipment, I don't know, punching stuff, like boxer, punching entertainment, 10 гривня, so 25 cents for one punch. Behind my back is another interesting place in Poltava. This is Poltava Local Museum and the place where you can look on the mammoths. Yeah, <laughs> mammoths. It's funny word. In Ukrainian it's mammont, in English it's mammoths. And just in front of the entrance to this local museum you can see the monument to Taras Grigorovich Shevchenko. This is our Ukrainian poet, artist, public and political figure. Мені 13 минало, я пас ягнята за селом. Чи то так сонечко сіяло, чи так мені тоді було? Seems that we both been to that museum and she saw the mammoth. Ти бачила мамаса? І що, як? Взагалі дуже цікавий музей насправді. Я хотіла б вже в дорослому віці туди зайти, бо останній раз це було ще шкільні. Ви you been walking for maybe like 15 minutes or maybe 40 minutes and the variety of different attractions on every side really like there 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 a lot of parks a lot of monuments a lot of some cool buildings <laughs> yeah maybe because our town has nothing of it but Poltava is really rich for these attractions seems that this is the most popular place where every foreigner and tourist take a photo we are coming to assumption hmm? there is the road Luba, there is the road Luba doesn't afraid so behind my back you can see the assumption cathedral and just next to that another touristic place the rot rotenda of people friendship Luba, do you know what is rotenda of people friendship <laughs> Tenda of Nations Friendship 1909-1954. A small arbor, a horse Shura Tenda was erected on the remains of earthen walls of Padilski Bastion of Poltava Fortress. It was dedicated to the 20th anniversary of the Battle of Poltava. Like in Paris, somewhere near to Eiffel Tower. Big thanks to our street musician. Eiffel? <laughs> <laughs> Називається ваш інструмент? Піаніка. Піаніка. Вона якась електрична в плані там батарейки чи акумулятор? Акустична, ну мікрофончик. А, мікро... а угу. мікрофон. Штокам... То камера така. Да? Вона теж така, як і ваша піаніка. Ну, да. Маловідома. Маловідома, да. Ви тут часто граєте? Ну, 
А у вас якась є сторінка? Є. Чи YouTube? А, он сайт мій. Добрий. Сайт там, не знаю. Profmusic.net. А це ваші якісь тут композиції чи ні? Це, це просто... А вас Андрій звати, да, чи ні? Андрій Петторин. So guys, if you're interested in this music instrument and this music in general, you can see Андрій Петторин. Ну все, ми погнали. Так, да, так, удачі, пока-пока. On this place, in 17th century, there was a fortress. And this is some kind of reminder of the tower from that fortress. Це просто панорама, панорама of the monastery hill with the surroundings. Guys, you asked what will be the next recipe from Люба. Полтавська галушка. And it's already done. <laughs> галушка is traditional dish in Poltava. It's like dumpling with filling. And this is the monument dedicated to Galushka. Unbelievable. Do you know the monument for pizza or burger somewhere in the world? But in Poltava we have the monument to Halushka. Seems that these kids have a field trip here. Yeah, we also had field trips when we were kids. So this is Soborna Square, Monument of Poltava Galushka, Ivan Kotlarevsky Museum Estate, Svetlospensky Cathedral, the bell tower of Svetlospensky Cathedral, Monument of Ukrainian Hetman Ivan Mazepa, Pod Podil Watch Tower of the Poltava Fortress and White Rotenda. So many interesting things just in one part. Стоп, 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 стоп. Люба схангри. А як тобі парк? Все гарно, але хочеться їсти. All right, let's go. By the way, the reason why we are here, we have uh, an appointment to doctor in few hours, and that's why we are walking and waiting that moment. We are visiting Halushka Cafe and Luba is checking for Halushkas. I have Solyanka and another Ukrainian dish is Halupci. And the reason why we came here, these are Poltavsky Halushki with Sulahuni cheese inside and some sour cream or just cream. So Luba, please take a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. На що схоже? Як вареник? Трошки круглого форму. Але ці вершки, вони дійсно чуть-чуть солоденькі. Тому як десерт виходить. Як раніше, ми спробували ці галушки з м'ясом внутрі і з uh, potato and mushrooms but this time we decided to try with cheese and this cream like pizza and what about your another dish this is duruni it's potato pancake with bacon all right let's continue our breakfast
place where we started our journey and a few hours later we are finishing this day in Poltava because in 30 minutes we have an appointment I don't think that we are going to some uh, family clinic we are just going to visit the dental clinic just a regular check yeah. to smile more for you but basically you see the atmosphere the usual life in Poltava goes on even though the city located is about 150 miles to Russian border and about 200 to 50 miles to the east where we have the front lines it's still so lively here a lot of people a lot of kids even spending here a few hours we can definitely say that it's this city worth to visit it and to spend some weekends here or even more this city worth even to live in because you have all infrastructure you need a lot of malls a lot of parks everything is well cared everything is so good looking compact comfortable yeah so maybe we will put this city to the one of the most comfortable cities in ukraine to live yeah it's what we were talking about it seems to be comfortable but at the same time this sound uh, is following you every day and every few hours on this note our day in Poltava is over and as you can see despite all the troubles the city continues to live and shine which is actually not as easy as it may seem thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe special thanks to my patrons and people who support us and buy me a coffee and until the next time bye